when a demon has ownership over a vessel is that you're going to see manifestations. You don't see manifestations. You are. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to expose every lie they didn't told. Like every how they trafficking kids and why they ain't got a soul. They feeding off Check my out energy, video, trying to destroy man. the globe. They got weather control, they even making it snow. But we can't run from it, gotta grab it by the ant. This is a topic that has to be discussed, y'all. It has to be. Especially seeing the times that we are in. We are in a very demonic time right now, y'all. And while we're in this time, all is being revealed. A lot of people don't understand that a part of breaking generational curses is recognizing the family demons. See, because that generational curse that you're breaking is staying on a narrow path and understanding that a part of that family curse is knowing that it's a demon that has been attached to your family and your bloodline for centuries. Okay. And it plays a, a, a big role when we talk about narcissistic people. So as you start to ascend through your chakras, as I've said on several occasions, man, you're going to start to become clairvoyant. You're going to start to be able to see these things manifest in front of you. You're going to start to see them. There's no way you can overlook it. Okay. And so with that being said, man, I ain't going to hold y'all too long. We're going to get into this because this God is most definitely cut up. But I will say this, man, I cannot confirm or deny anything that's about to get ready to be said in this video. But I will ask that you use discernment. And with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump into this. Uh, have you ever seen the narcissist shapeshift? Now, those of you that may not be familiar with um, different terminology like spiritual warfare or... Uh, witchcraft, sorcery, you know, things like that. Where a lot of times you're going to see the um, the word shape-shifting come up will be in the realm of like sorcery and witchcraft. You know, those are things of the kingdom of darkness, okay? And the reason I want to, <clears throat> of course, cover that on this channel, uh, I want to cover it on this channel is because narcissists do have the ability to shapeshift. I've seen it with my own eyes. Now, the problem with this is, is the fact that when you see this, most of y'all are probably sitting there thinking like, I know I just didn't see this bird just completely change, like the whole expression on their face just shifted. You know what I'm saying? And I'll tell you some key characteristics and what you probably witnessed when you saw them shapeshift. Now, narcissists, because they are controlled and governed by demonic entities, one thing that you have to understand about uh, when a demon has ownership over a vessel is that you're gonna see manifestations. You don't see manifestations. You are, okay? Those black eyes that I talked about, that's ownership. That's manifestation. This shape shifting that I'm getting ready to tell you about, that shows ownership. That's a manifestation. And when I say ownership, I'm talking about this is when dark forces or malevolent forces actually own this vessel. They have possessed it. Okay. And so this is beyond a oppression. This is beyond... Um, obsession because you can have uh demonic op uh, obsession you can have demonic oppression and then you can have uh possession but usually when you're seeing shape-shifting you're actually seeing a vessel that is possessed by a dark malevolent force now let me show you what this looks like y'all ready you could be talking to a narcissist and they may just be sitting and listening to you and, you know, they may have an expression on their face, kind of like, you know, they're just looking, just listening. And then you could say or do something that causes them to react in a different type of way. The one that I seen, y'all listen, his face went from something like this to the grin just went slowly across his face like this. But... The way that it happened, the eyes, you see how my eyes smile with me? His eyes didn't smile with him. It was a grin that went across his face like the Joker. And the and you'll see the ears lift 
okay? Now, when you see the ears go up like that, most of y'all will probably testify if you were looking at the ears closely, because I seen this with my own eyes. If you were looking at the ears closely, the ears look like that when they when they rise like that, they look like they have a little point at the top of them. I'll never forget the first time I seen a genie manifest. Well, I actually seen a genie and I seen a fairy manifest through somebody, man. But the first time I seen it, I'll never forget, man. This is when I used to smoke weed, man. I was actually smoking with the person at the time and I was, you know, venting to them about something that was going on in my life when uh, I had just been through awakening the, the year before. OK, so um, I was activated in that time. Right. And I was, you know, little to my, uh, you know, unbeknownst to myself, I was able to see these type of things, man. And it manifested itself right in front of me and I shook it off like, oh, what the f I couldn't believe what I was seeing, bro. I'm like, what was that? OK. I'm like, what was that? Then I just had to check it out. Like, man, you tweaking. You tweaking a little bit. But I knew I wasn't tweaking, man. So I was looking for that for years until I ran into it again. Okay. And what I want y'all to understand is, is that a lot of these demons or a lot of these, you know, uh, shapeshifters, man, they like to, what I call genies, they like to, they like to stay in lower vibrational vessels. So when you see somebody that's more so depressed all the time, yeah. They're being overtook by a genie. But let me go ahead and let her finish with what she has to say. Yes. Yes. This is this is how you can see them shape shift. You can also, some of y'all also probably saw them when you were looking at them. You looked and you were like, why are they looking like that? Then you look at them again. They look like something different. Like the expression on their face caused them to look like not themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't even look like themselves. You were looking at them like, what in the world is that? That's shape shifting. Yes, that's what that is. It's shape shifting. So when people call a narcissist, when they say, oh, they some shape shifters. That's what you're seeing. You will literally see the countenance transform into something that doesn't look like them. They will still have their features and things like that, but the way that they shift and transform in front of your eyes, it's unbelievable. It's like, and that's part of the black eyes as well. Some of y'all probably thought that the black eyes was all, but then some of y'all saw that the narcissist, when they went into narcissistic rages or whatever, you saw the ears rise. And when you see the ears rise, if you if you ever look closely, you would see that they look like they had a little point on the end of them. Yeah, that's how they do it. They shape shifting. They're shape shifting because they have the force inside of them causes them to do that. Now, where you're normally see, now where you will see gross uh, or or what we call grossly shape shifting and transforming is in the realm of sorcery. Now, in the realm of sorcery, these people uh, have such demonic power that they will actually shape shift into different things. They can shape shift into cats, uh, leopards. Uh, those are some main ones that they do snakes. They'll uh, shape shift. I mean, this person will literally turn into a snake. OK, because of the demonic power that they have. And that's and look, and it's just not snakes, man. They, they're actually projecting themselves, man. They projecting themselves into the children. They're projecting themselves into the dogs, the animals, whatever around that has a lower vibrational frequency than theirs, man. They're able to project themselves into it. It's crazy. Uh, just somebody seeing them as a snake with their uh, spiritual eyes. No, you will literally see this person turn into a snake. Okay, that's what happens in the spiritual world. So when you're when you're looking at a narcissist and you begin to see them transform and look like somebody different. Some of y'all have witnessed where they had times or vulnerable moments where you were talking to them and it's almost like they they their faces transformed into a child like like a child like uh uh it shape shifted into like a child like kind of expression or you almost thought that oh it looks like a child you know what I'm saying or you would see them 
turn into something when they were in rages you would see a countenance or you would see an expression or the way that they would transform when it, they didn't even look like themselves they looked like something that was just straight out of straight out demonic yeah you aren't crazy no they they were literally transforming in front of your eyes yeah it that is a thing that's the thing. And, and psychology calls it by a different name. I can't remember exactly what psychology calls it by, but they have a name for it too. But this, now they're not going to tell you in the world of psychology that, you know, this is because of dark malevolent forces. They're not going to tell you that. But yeah, this psychology has a name for it. So that's what you see. And normally when they are enraged, and you see them shape shift and turn into something that looks c clearly demonic. A lot of you may have also experienced that um, their voice changed. Because when, usually when they're when they've shape shifted like this and transformed into something, you know, you 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 looking like this don't even look like the same person. Um, when that when those dark forces start snatching vocal cords. When you start seeing them shape shift and they snatching vocal cords like that and they're speaking in, in another tone that's not their own, you better get up out of there. I'm telling you, because what you're witnesses what your witnesses witnessing is something supernatural. And it's real. It's real. Because they open themselves up to this type of possession. You understand what I'm saying? Because they're not connected to their true selves. They've already adopted that ego, which is a demonic force to control them. But I wanted to cover this on this channel because I, I, I realized that I did not, I have not uh, covered shape shifting on my channel. And I wanted to let you all know you're not crazy. If you thought you saw that narcissist change and transform into something, you know, that you have never seen their facial features just shifted like that, you were not crazy. You saw what you saw. Nah, you ain't crazy at all, man. And that's why I tell y'all on so many occasions, man, that it's important that you guard your energy. It's important, man. You have a lot of people out here that are very promiscuous with the Jezebel spirit all over them, okay? And see, they don't know that that spirit is going to uh, take them in a direction that's going to lead them into somebody that's going to bind themselves to them uh, via SEX, by way of SEX, okay? Because you have a lot of people out here that are actually energy vampires, and this is what they seek to do. They seek to use you as a victim, and you will be wondering why somebody is around here acting a certain way. That's because that demon is draining them of all of that energy at that moment. And they're consistently feeding that demon by smoking, drinking, and all of these other things. That's big facts. They don't even know why they're doing it. They're doing it. And, you know, in other instances, in other instances, man, it's just people, man, who've uh, allowed these, these beings to attach to them because they wanted to be a part of these certain organizations and things like that. So they gave up someone in their 360. Okay? But they didn't know. By them fulfilling that contract with that demonic demon, it allowed them, that demon to attach itself to his vessel. Okay? And so that's another reason why they're walking around with it, man. A lot of these people, man, I know personally, man, because, you know, because of my, my gifts. Okay? Because of my gifts. At this point, I'm able to just see it. If you have a demon on you, bro, I'm just able to see it at this point. Ain't no hiding it from me. All right? But... A lot of these people, man, uh, they they actually, you know, went through rituals and things like that, man. They actually gave up family members, man. Understand what I'm telling you? Friends, loved ones, spouses. Um, and that's how they actually got these demons, man. A lot of them did it at a young age because they were indoctrinated and initiated into these groups. And it's real, y'all. So don't overlook that, man. I tell y'all all the time, man, you have to be spiritually aware of who it is that you're dealing with man don't allow them to come in and charm you and things like that man it's often the ones who say that they're not promiscuous those are the ones who are very promiscuous i'm telling y'all man those are the ones who are carrying the jezebel spirits even the men men carry jezebel spirits as well understand that because they're not protecting their their energy and it ain't gonna be until you start to fully awaken in terms of your spirituality that you start to truly ascend okay that you're going to start to realize these things. You're going to start to realize how true everything that you've been reading in terms of your spirituality is true, is real. 
I'm telling you, then you're going to start to feel like a angelic being surrounded around demons because this plane, the planet that we live on is filled with demons, y'all. It's filled with demons and shape shift. And they've been here already. And they're passing this demon down through generations. Kids, they pass it down to their kids, so on and so forth. And then they meet somebody and they attach that demon to their spouse, so on and so forth. And they get, I'm telling y'all, it just get real, y'all. So when you see somebody, man, with narcissistic behaviors, man, understand that they have that demon attached to them. Okay? And if you start to do the spiritual work, the energetic work, energetic work that's necessary, I can guarantee you, you're going to start to see that demon. Because for the chosen ones, bro, see, the reason that that demon is attacking you is because you have not uh, submitted to the, 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 uh, the family curse. You're different. You're very different. Okay? And so... You agitate that demon. So that's why that demon want to it want to get on you now. It want to get on your top. Because you agitate that demon because it wants you to be a part of it. And it's to the point where that demon wants to really unalive you. It wants to. All right. And so with that being said, man, if you ain't got over to YouTube already, make sure you get over to YouTube and follow me on YouTube at I Am Awaken. Also, do not forget to get uh get over to Instagram and follow me on Instagram at I Am Awaken underscore chosen one man because we're gonna most definitely cut up. And uh, I just want to leave y'all as I came. I want you guys to always, always be aware because to be aware is to be alive. And as always, peace, family. Peace meaning positive energy always creates elevation. Ashay. Okay.